The grass is always greener on the other side of the fence. Or is it? As Thomas Paine said in Common Sense, Freedom hath been hunted around the globe. England hath given her warning to depart. Essentially demonstrating that since the beginning of American history, people thought that the life they didn't have would be better than the one they did have. As T. Paine argued, Americans could finally live the good life without the British. The good life better than the life I lived when I thought that I was gonna go crazy. Even though life became more independent without the British, American society was not picture perfect. Many slaves tried to escape bondage, hoping for a better life. Even after the Emancipation Proclamation, all blacks were not freed. Even after Union victory in the Civil War, blacks were still in bondage as sharecroppers, just because of the color of their skin. Oh, why was I born a man of whom to make a brute? especially were take, taken brutal advantage of. But once they got to America, they found it was not the utopia they had dreamed of. Well, there's no place like home. As Upton Sinclair wrote in his masterpiece, The Jungle, here's a population, low class and mostly foreign, hanging always on the verge of starvation and dependence for its opportunity of life upon the whim of men every bit as brutal and unscrupulous as the old time slave drivers. Even those who do have money and status are not much better off. Jay Gatsby earned his fortune to win over Daisy, but still never achieved the ideal life he dreamed of. Ah, oh, Daisy, money, money, Daisy! As Nick laments after Gatsby's death, Pew! Ah! He'd come a long way to this blue lawn, and his dream must have seemed so close that he could hardly fail to grasp it. He did not know that it was already behind him, so we're back in that vast obscurity beyond the city. Meaning, Gatsby's attempts to chase after what he thought would be a better life was futile. Money could not buy him happiness. Or Daisy. But it can buy him these daisies. Finally, centuries later, Americans still think their life will be better if they do that one thing. Get to that one ideal place. Oscar Schell thought he would find peace if he just found the lock to his dad's key. I found the lock. I wish I hadn't found it. Let me stay close to him for a little while longer. But won't you always be close to him? No. So is the grass really greener on the other side? Or is it really just yellow everywhere? All of these characters are disappointed at the end of their pursuits. This begs the question. Is the American dream really possible? Or is it just a fruitless pursuit of something unattainable?